to Liz Plume as well done. And now to the men's race, and we have a legend back in this race, Trevor Hendy in the Ironman final. Yeah, there he is, the 43-year-old. Who could believe it? Made the state final here. And look at this field. Kai Hurst, you can see there. Shannon Eckstein, Corey Hill, Cam Cole. And the names just keep going on. And really, this is the toughest event to win on the program. As That's they get what... ready, swim, uh, swim leg first. That's why they call it the Ironman. As you say, a star-studded field with Kai Hurst, Trevor Hendy, Shannon Eckstein, Kane Eckstein. And there they go again, heading south once again to try and beat that sweep. Yeah, all the boys going right except for one. Look like Kai Hurst going straight in. And, well, when you've got the swimming potential that Kai has, he's certainly going to back himself against that sweep. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out with all the other lads. As you can see them all up there now. Ali Day as well up there. And they're going now under these waves. And that sweep really taking them out. And to the lead, it looks like it is a Curra cap in front. And, well, it's not Kai Hurst. It looks like it is Kane Eckstein. So Kane, the younger of the two Eckstein boys. And, of course, the winner of the Pro Series this year, taking it to the rest of the field at this stage. Brother Shannon right on his hammer as they go across this string of cans. Kurt, it's interesting, isn't it? They, don't, they both race in different clubs for different clubs. Yeah, not too far apart, Curra and Northcliffe. Uh, both the boys used to race together at Service Paradise, but they've gone their each separate ways. And now coming in, it still is Kane Eckstein, the younger of the two, in front. Going back, it looks like Ali Day in third place. You can see that Malula Bar cap. And now just coming down. Now waves are coming down here. It looks Ooh. like it is. Well, Kane and Shannon Eckstein trying to hold on to this leader's wave. And look at the arms doing a great job. And in the middle, looks like one of them's lost their cap. Is it Shannon Eckstein? No, he holds on. So Shannon Eckstein, the champ, comes down. Look at this beautiful body serving. Puts the head up and hits the sand and it could be a big lead i'll have to look behind to see where it is but Whoa. it looks like daylight second at the moment that is a very big lead he must have ridden that all the way into the shore break yeah beautiful body surfing this is the difference these are the skills and he's such a technician an incredible competitor but he does every little thing right and that's what makes shannon Eckstein so hard to beat he doesn't make mistakes we can see here ali day of course the former new south wales champ from orilla barrack point up there with the malula bar club for the first time in second kane Eckstein in third and they make their way out now into this board leg shannon Eckstein on his purple board a big lead he'll pop over this no problem there we go onto the stomach and now the look behind to see where the rivals are. He won't worry about them. It's all about getting through this break, getting into that clear blue water. As you say, he built up a big lead after that first leg. But as you also mentioned earlier, it all depends on how they can get through this break. Can Shannon Eckstein get another break on this field? Because he's probably, what, 50, 60 metres ahead. Yeah, you can see Ali Day starting to close it up a little bit. He had a bit of a smoother run out. Kane Eckstein just behind him. But Ali Day working really hard. You can see now onto the stomach, ratings up. And some of these back markers getting caught in that outside break. As we go out now, he's trying to hook into that wash. And you can see Ali Day is hooked up to Shannon Eckstein. He's overtaken him. So Ali Day has hit the front. Eckstein, Rora working really hard to stay on his wash. That's amazing, isn't it? He had a great lead. And also, I might add, wouldn't Shannon be very keen to beat little brother Kane after Kane won the Pro Series? Yeah, definitely. Well, here we go. The top three from the Pro Series. Ali Day, the runner-up. Shannon Eckstein, third. Kane Eckstein, the winner. And now, well, at the back, a wave maybe for Kane. No, he's off the back, so it's a leader's wave. Shannon Eckstein has on it. Ali Day's on it as well. A little ride laugh. <laughs> These two blokes, they're best of mates, and they love hanging out together as well. And now they come down this wave, and it's going to be a race in two. You would think, look at this lead so far behind. Some jaggers on waves out the back as well. Cam Cole, Wade Krieger look like picked up that one out the back. But as they hit the sand, Ali Day and Shannon Eckstein, the master and the apprentice. Surely a former cockroach isn't going to win the Queensland title. Come on, Shannon. We'll see how we go here. Shannon hits the front. You said it before. Ali Day, he's made the move up to the Malula Bar Club to train with Michael King. And he really wants this Queensland title. But, gee, Shannon's going to work hard. And it's a tough one to take from him as they get onto the ski now. This is the tough thing. You've got to get here. Easy to paddle a ski any day of the week. But these blokes, their heart rate's pumping now. And it's when the mind and the body, you've got to get those two things in sync and really get these skills working because the slightest mistake and it can be race over. Exactly right. Here we, here we go once again, getting to the red zone for the waves. It can all change right here and now. And there's the pack in the background. Kai Hurst coming up there. Yeah, Cam Cole in there. Kane Eckstein, a lot of work to do. Also look like the big beard of Corey Jones doing a good job as well. But now into the blue water. Shannon Eckstein's out there. And oh, in the boats. Whoa. That northern end, that sweep moving out really quickly. Ali Day's time that 
to perfection. So again, almost a mirror image of that last board leg. Ali Day now in front. Shannon Eckstein right on his hammer. He won't let him go as they're coming in now. And it looks like Eckstein trying to up the rating, but Ali Day still in front. Little wave coming. These skis run on anything. He's hooked up a little runner here. Eckstein's on it. Ali Day, no, it's going to die out. So another wave coming. And now you'd imagine both these boys are going to catch this little one. They shouldn't have too much trouble holding it. Ali Day led into the final race of the Pro Series and got picked at the post. Can he hold on and win the Queensland title from Shannon? Yeah, not a problem here this wave. Only a couple of foot high. They'll eat these up. And now it's going to be a sprint finish. And, well, we know how fast Shannon is. Ali's got some toe as well. But you surely Shannon Eckstein with the pace. It all comes down to who gets off first, who can get that momentum. Eckstein, a dominant finisher. And now Ali Day starting to rev up. Surely, Shannon, you have to back Shannon here. He's very fast over the sand. This is almost four different dis disciplines, isn't it? Well, you can see Ali Day just got a little bit over the top there. First off, we said first off is the winner. Well, we can see now Ali Day was first off, but now you've got to change around this turning flag. And now Eckstein starting to rev up. Eckstein oh. from behind, but Ali Day looking to hold on. Eckstein to rev it. Day's going to hold it. And the former New South Wales champion now becomes the Crazy Johns Queensland champion. Wade Krieger, a great final ski leg by the South African from Burley Heads. He'll round out the podium place getters. Unbelievable finish to the Ironman event here at the 2012 Crazy Johns Queensland titles. And here's the official results. Mula Bars, Alistair Day first, Shannon Eckstein in second place, Wade Krieger in third. And now the winners and the second place getters down on the beach with Libby. Guys, what a remarkable finish and a great way to finish up the 2012 Crazy Johns Queensland Championships. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's pretty cool standing here next to one of my idols and one of my heroes that I grew up, um, you know, worshipping, and I still worship the guy to the day, even though we're pretty good mates. But, yeah, it's, you know, what an end to it. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah, I'm so happy at the moment.